When these people tell you their intentions, you better believe them. Vice President Harris says she's willing to go to historic lengths to win this battle. Take a look. I think we should eliminate the filibuster for Roe, and, and, and we need and get us to the point where we 51 votes would be what we need to actually put back in law the protections for reproductive freedom and for the ability of every person and every woman to make decisions about their own body and not have their government tell them what to do. So now is the time to use the filibuster for good and in support of the will of the people. Three things, reproductive health rights, voting rights, and gun control. These are paramount American issues facing our country that must be resolved. We can't seem to get it done any other way. And so I am in favor of the filibuster well, as a mother and as a woman. Was- if you guys remember back in 2020 with the debates with smoking Joe Biden and with Trump, remember the blowing up the filibuster was asked to Joe multiple times and he kept tap dancing right around it like the late great Gregory Hines stayed straight tap dancing around the question each and every time. Now you have the amazing Kamala telling you straight up, we're going to just blow it up. We're going to get rid of it and then she tries to piggyback with it right oh with Roe just for this situation no but then you have Sonny Sonny comes right on and tells you the plan for all three let's play it one more time three things reproductive health rights voting rights and gun control. So right there they tell you, we already know their stance on abortion, they want no limits and all that. That's something that they have to deal with in their mind. These people are just so hyper-focused on that. But let's move to voting rights. What she means is the Freedom to Vote Act is what she means. John Lewis, the, what they're trying to get at, what that whole thing is about is that all 50 states, Republican does not matter, will be mandate that every single citizen gets a mail-in ballot mailed to them. That's the crux. That's what they want. If you look at it, it highlights it. It tells you straight up. That's what they want. Universal. It doesn't matter if you request it or not. It's coming to you. Hype and hot right inside the mailbox, whether you want it or not. It will be mandated in all 50 states. So that's that. Then gun rights. What do they mean by that? Banning the assault rifle with this BS term that they keep putting up there. That, that's what they want to get to first. Then they were telling you that nobody needs a 30 round magazine. You know, let's say it's about, it should be a 10 round magazine. So they want to get, it's all about slowly creeping in. So they want to get rid of the AR-15, right? They'll get rid of that, get rid of, round, get rid of your 30 round magazine. But then what what are they going to hit you with? Actually, we looked at preliminary data and we see that handguns actually kill more people a year than ARs. What, what were we thinking, man? We should have already been ahead of the ball. Let's introduce this. Now, handguns need to get banned. That's what this is all about. You take an inch and then you get the mile. That's exactly what they want. And I'm t- mark my words, if it goes down this way, you will, you will see it. They will make it a felony for any citizen outside of a a police officer or some government employee, it will make it a felony for any citizen to own a firearm. That's exactly what they want. Just like all of these other distant lands, that is the end goal with this. That's what she's trying. They're trying to attach it to Roe, right? We want to blow up the filibuster just for this. No, it's for all of these other things. And you got to give it to them because at least they tell you what it really is. If you listen to them, they actually tell you what they're going to do. There is no guesswork with them. They want to make Washington, D.C. a state that gives them two senators permanent Democrat for lifetime. If anybody knows about Washington, D.C., that's why they want to make that a state. So you're talking about all this stuff, mass mail-in bouts, whether you want it or not, getting rid of firearms, getting rid of the Second Amendment. That's exact. And they're going to do it instantly. It's not just going to wait. We're going to do it over time. They will do it instantly. It will be ready day one. That's exactly what they want to do. And these people are telling you. 
So as crazy as these people are on The View, they'll drop a couple nuggets on you and give you a couple hints of truth in some of the BS that they just spew on a weekly basis on television. They're going to tell you, and remember, because they're all in cahoots. They have their talking points. You know, they're close friends with these people. They all link up. That's how they all, whenever you see like a big story or even if a story's not big, but they're all focused, that's their talking points. They said, you're going to talk about this. You're going to talk about this. So they already outlined this stuff and they're, they're putting it on the platter and they're saying, here it is. Don't be mad because we're telling you what we're going to do. These people are sick.